Rojo, 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 rojo. Hello, hello, hello. Test it, test it. Can you hear me? Just getting started here with our continuation of our coding project, which is Ruby, Rails, um, Twitter API, text analysis, all of kinds of fun things. So type in the chat if you can hear me. And I don't know how to share this stream. I want to share it on on my Twitter. How do I do that? Let me see. I will let you look at my code. This is what we're working on. Okay. Uh, Share YouTube live. How do you do that? I want to get more people in here. If I can find it, I think you can just share my channel and it shall show. Let's see. Copy. Ah oh, yes, that works. Ah oh, yes, that works. And now I'm hearing myself. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now. Um. Mm, streaming live on. I'm sharing on my Twitter so we can get some extra people on YouTube. Some Ruby coding. And there we go. Okay, so let's actually um, start working on this. So I don't know if you have seen this project before, but basically we have a Rails project. It's very simple on the route side. You can see we have a static pages index. And then we have our analyze route. Okay. And this is our view. And when you enter a Twitter user, you can, oh, because I need to go in here, documents, and uh, Twitter project and then rail server. Okay. Uh, if it starts anytime now. Oh, there we go. Then we can end. Hello. Okay. Valid authenticity token. Why? Let me reload. Okay. Now, here we go. So this is what this does. You enter uh, Twitter user. It can be any user. This is my Twitter handle. Click Analyze. And it gives you information. Okay, about this account. And the information is the count of followers. The top uh, tweets. So what I'm doing right now is pull 200 tweets, 200 tweets, which is the maximum you can get from the on one go with the Twitter API. So it gets the late latest uh, 200 tweets, and what I'm doing inside my application is to sort them 
by the fabric count. So we can see the fabric count right there. And that's one way to sort them because I don't think Twitter allows you to sort them in any way. And this way you can analyze any Twitter account to find out what the most popular tweets are for a given account, recent tweets. Okay, so this is useful. You just want to know how you are doing yourself, or you want to look into some a friend or a popular account, or you're doing some market research or paid advertising on Twitter, things like that. All of that could be useful to use that this application. And I also added this refresh button so we can reload the page. Okay. So this is my Twitter handle if you're not following me yet. Okay. It will be a good thing because I tweet about Ruby. Okay. So I have Ruby tips, Ruby articles, Ruby news, all of these good things. Okay. And um, by the way, I have a Ruby site. It's called rubyguides.com. If you're not familiar with it, rubyguides.com. In there, you can learn a lot of Ruby tips, tricks, uh, like I said, news, and um, all of that to help you become a better Ruby developer. So that's rubyguides.com. Now let's continue. Uh, another thing I want to do with this data is to do some text analysis. Okay, so similar to this page, we I want to analyze things like uh, the average um, tweet length, um, things like that, and frequency, work frequency. Okay, so we can see some extra information about this data. And you can type in the chat, you can type in chat if you want so we can talk okay so yeah um yesterday i finished off doing this um get word analysis method it looks complicated but it's it's not really okay so what you do is, what we are doing here is calling these tweets, which is this method. And this method uses the Twitter client, which makes a call, makes a call to the Twitter API. Okay. I ask for the user timeline count 200. So what this means is it's asking, it's asking for uh, the latest 200 tweets basically so tweets is basically to the latest 200 tweets and then we're doing some processing on them okay so this will be probably text from all tweets okay not the tweets because the tweets, um, every tweet will be one object and every object has a few methods. Okay. For example, the favorite count method, the text method to get the actual text, the actual text of the tweet. This will be the favorite count. You can use these methods to get information about the tweet. So that's why I have tweets map text join. This get us all of the text for the 200 tweets. Then the next step is to scan W. So this what we call a regular expression. And specifically it is saying grab scan or grab all of the words. So what's a word in What's considered a word? Well, a word, let me show you, is anything that has uh, letters, 
all of the letters in the alphabet numbers so all of the numbers from all of the numbers and I believe there is also the underscore it's also considered this considered um, any combination of this is considered a word so we are extracting words so that's what this line is doing this method the next method is very interesting because it's using two really cool methods one is group by and the other is itself so group by we're taking the words so remember we have started with a big string then we break down that string into words into tokens that's another way to do it to explain it or other another name for it and this then goes from our from a string to array so now we have an array at this point okay at this point is an array of words okay now we can take these words and group them by themselves so group by itself so what this we do is basically if we have the same word three times like let's say we have cat 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 okay what will happen when it, it runs through this step is it become this cut then this will be another array it is cut 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 okay we look like that so it finds this now actually it will be like this it can be in any order no, it will be, it will be, I say we have a, a, we have an array, right? So what this really looks like is like this. It doesn't need to be in order. This could be something else. Could be a tiger, right? Could be like that. And what we get out looks like this. Okay. So that's what the, this step is doing. It's taking the, this input, okay? And it's converting that into this other uh, output, okay? Why are we doing this? Because this is an intermediate, intermediate step that allows us to do something next. That's very cool. Okay, so the goal, is to count how many times this word is repeating okay so if we, the logic is that is that if we group them with group by itself then we can count them very easily okay so that's what's going on in there so this will be this so you get can get an idea cut tiger cut cut then it becomes that so you can see the steps and the next step is the where the magic happens not really magic but it's really cool that you might as well call it magic <laughs> so we got we go from here to this other Oh, and by the way, it is not an array, sorry, that's a mistake. This becomes a hash, okay? So remember, hash are key value pairs, key value pairs. So we go from here, okay, from this hash to this other hash. And, ta-da, isn't that nice? So notice how Ruby is doing a lot of work for us. If we had to do this by hand, all of this, without this method, it will be a lot of work, right? 
but with knowing Ruby well, you can do this kind of transformation, okay? The last step is just sorting this, well, it is already sorted, but if it wasn't, they will sort by the this number, the value. So this key, key and value. Okay, key and value. I'm gonna say minus value, main, minus v. What I'm really saying is reverse the order. Okay, so minus v equals reverse order. Hope that makes sense. And finally, we are just doing take 20, and I think that's very pretty self explanatory. Explains that we want to take from the total results the 200 tweets and all of the words. We want to take the top 20. Why the top? Because we reverse the order. We sorted by the reverse order, which means descending. So from higher to lower, from higher to lower. So when we get the top 20, since the higher ones are at the top, we get the top 20 tweets with sorted by favorites. No, it is not sorted by favorites, sorry. It is sorted by the word count, word count, because the value is the word count, okay? So let's see if you have any questions. Let me know on the chat. I'm looking right now at the chat if you have any questions. Just let me know. I know that's a lot of stuff, a lot of information. Okay, well, if you can learn this, if you think it is too hard or too over your head, you can learn this, okay? It just takes some time. You, you want to start with the each method and some simple method select, okay? Select, map, okay? Um, practice, 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 and also understand how Ruby works, understand that everything uh, everything is an object and when you and all objects have methods, right? Once that really sinks in into your head that everything you can use is an object and all of the objects have methods. When you understand that, you understand that you can combine uh methods like this because this we produce a new object which is a string now we can work with a string methods well no sorry uh this produces an array and then we can work with array methods okay so it comes in as a string but it then it produces an array then we get an array we call an array method on it, and we get a hash. Then we get a hash method on our hash, and we get another hash, okay? So if you know what kind of object you're, work you're working with, you will always, always know what you can do at the moment with that object to move, move it forward, to change it, to get it closer, to move it closer to your desired result, output, goal, okay? So that's basically what's going on in here. It's not magic, it's nothing hard. It's just understanding this basic principle. Okay, does that make sense? Hello? Just let me know, say something.
Can you hear me? Hello? You can type in chat and let me know if, if you can hear me, if you like this, if you want to do me to do something else, if you have any Ruby questions. Okay. Okay, I guess you're not the talking type. Oh. Oh, yes, 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 Carlos, you are absolutely right. It's very important. So listen to this, what Carlos is saying. It's very important uh, to understand Ruby first before working with Rails. To improve muscle. Yes, exactly. Exercises. Yes, 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 I agree 100%. Agreed. And way we you can do that is there is a site called exorcism.io. Then there is code wars and I just added some interactive exercises on my site. So that's rubyguides.com. And if you sign up for the pro program, you will find Yes, hacker rank to there is another lead code. And on my site I just added if you sign up for Pro, Ruby Guides Pro, you be I just added today uh, some interactive exercises and you can get uh the back by test. So you will get feedback. Okay? And I can, I believe I can also see your solution, so I can give you feedback. But since a new system I'm trying, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, that's text from my tweets. Explain. Now let's do. Let's let's show this on the page, okay? So let's go to what do we have here? Uh, word count. Okay. So that's that. Now we have our word count. We want an each okay to no not this kind of and to 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 words okay so now we can't print our word See what that looks like. Uh, uh, uh. So we get an error. That's fine. We need to reload. Oh, what's this? Uh, unexpected analyzer 27. Okay. Oh, probably because it doesn't like these comments. I really like them because it explains the steps. But I guess we need to remove them. I will save that here. Commented method. We comment a giant methods. Yeah, we do that. Documents save and also remove that. Hopefully, it will not complain again. Okay, seems that we are good to go. 
So let's enter my Twitter handle again. Analyze God's crown. Oh, typo. We have a typo. Okay. That's fine. Let's fix that. Uh, Twitter controller. Analyze. Okay. So we need to reload. And there we go. So it's that's the port analysis. Okay. So we need to make it a lot nicer. So let's go back to the view. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So let's do. So we have Word. Let's see if we can do that. I know, I know, they are. It's not best practice or whatever. She's going to make this work. Can't. Refresh. Ah, there we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So now we have some. We need to clean up this list a little bit. And we start by making it just uh, 10, top 10. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, now we want another space after. Okay, and let's refresh, and there we go. Maybe I even another below just to get it, give it some space. Okay, and we're going to work on the front end later, just to make it really nice. With, I think we're going to use this called material UI and with this we can make it look really nice okay so let me show you some examples for example buttons and you have buttons nice buttons there and there are some more Maybe tables, tables we can use for sure. That's some nice tables. I like this too. Okay. So we can do that later. Let's see what else. I want to clean up this list because we have things like um, four and go to right this or oh, t. This don't really make a lot of sense or HTTPS. So these are coming from the links. Okay. So we need to filter these links from the text analysis from the text in general so let's do that uh, that will happen in somewhere in here in the chain of methods so i'm thinking probably right before grouping has to happen some somewhere in there mm, 
Now I think even before that in there will be something like filter words. We're looking for something like that. But of course, um, a string doesn't have a filter words method. So we call define it if we want it. You can, this is legal in Ruby. We call it this. But then you're defining, you're defining this method globally because the string is very common, right? So me, we might not want to do it, this, maybe. But as it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Another thing we can do is just, or maybe here, since we are this getting us the text, we might want to do something like filter words, Something like that, okay. So what do we do here? Well, we want to look for the pattern of this, exactly, URLs. So we need some uh, regular um, expression font. <laughs> so let's open Pry. Let's get a URL, maybe with some other text. So we, we want to find and remove the URL and maybe even count the URLs or something like that. So that's what we want to do. So when we're not sure how to do something directly, we go to Pry and we play around with it. Since we know this is a string, what we can do is a string methods, and that includes regular expressions. So regular expressions let us to uh, match a pattern. That's exactly what we want to do, because a URL follows a pattern, and we want to, and we can match a pattern with a regular expression. So what we need to do is to find the correct way to describe the pattern in the regular expression syntax. So let's do that. So this is our initial um, code. This defines the start and end, this forward slashes define the start and end of the regular expression. So right now it's an empty regular expression. Hey, um, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Spain. Zipper? Hey, hi, Zipper. Who are you? I'm from Spain. España. <laughs> How about you? Where are you from? So yeah, we're talking about matching the URLs in our text, okay? And for that, we want to use a regular expression. So for matching this, we want something like slash w, which remember, it means word, okay? So letters and numbers. Then, uh, literal, uh, colon, meaning it's the colon itself, it doesn't have any special meaning. And we have a slash, a slash, but notice that a slash, a slash has a special meaning because it uses it's, it's part of the regular expression itself, it's a delimiter. So to fix that, we want to escape the slashes and we do it like that I know that looks funny it looks strange where it whatever you want however you want to define it but that's how you do it 
The next we have more. Oops, not that. We have more text, more words, and then there can be a dot. Yes, the, in fact, there has to be a dot to be a valid URL. Then we have another word. Okay, so remember, slash W plus means uh, many characters, in other words, a single word. So HTTPS will be a word, T will be a word, CO will be another word, just to make that clear. So next we have, usually that will be a valid URL, but then there can be more things after this, right? So if I run this and we get a problem because I had my syntax unfinish no you see we get https t.co but we don't get the rest to fix that we can do a dot and a star so what oh and i think we need that no uh, and maybe we do Hold on. Mm -mm. There. We have, I don't know if we want the space or not. Let's see. Probably because, yes, we want all of that. So, what I have in here is this thing. So, a dot also has a special meaning in a regular expression. So we're still in Ruby land, okay? But uh, Ruby uh, regular expression is almost like its own mini language. It might look, if you don't know what this means, it might look like Chinese or some other language that's, um, that you don't understand. But when you break it down, it's not that bad, okay? And in fact, there are websites and programs where you can copy and paste a regular expression and we actually spell out in English what the regular expression does. That's really cool. This uh, regex info, something like that, where there is several pages that do that. Okay? I really like that so regex info i think it's it let's see um, <laughs> no not this uh, oh no it's somewhere regex oh let's look for a regex analyzer Uh, how about this one? I think th 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 this is what I want, definitely. So look at the right, it says W plus matches any word character equal to that, plus quantify match between one and unlimited times, as many times as possible. This matches the character slash literally, this matches that. Quantify this matches the character dot literally. So you can, you can see there on the right, on this little box that says explanation, it, it says exactly what this means. Okay. So this is regex101.com. I have nothing to do with this site. I just think it's really cool to see how you see the explanation, okay? And if you are not familiar with myself, you might be new here. My name is Jesus Castillo. I am Ruby developer and teacher. And I have this site, it's called rubyguides.com. Okay. And I think you're really going to enjoy it if you like Ruby. 
I also have a Ruby book that can help you a lot prove your skills and understand these kind of things that I'm explaining to you. So that's rubyguides.com, my site. And let's go back to the project. And then find thanks. I just started learning Ruby. Finish the academic code academy course on the iPhone Ruby Guides. It's really good. Thanks for the mind map. Oh, thanks for subscribing to the newsletter. I'm glad you found the mind map useful. Thank you for reading and for watching. Okay. So, this is, oh, and if you have any Ruby questions, let me know. We help you with them. We can, I can show you right now how to solve your Ruby question or or error or anything you want me to look at Ruby related. I will be happy to help. Okay. So yeah, what I was, we were talking about is this regular expression thing. It lets you match, find a pattern in text, and then you can remove it or save it or do whatever you want. The important thing is that it's a pattern. It's not a fixed thing. So we can have multiple URLs that follow the pattern and we found, we find them. So we can pick a different one, right, like that. And if we use our little regular expression, it should find all of them. Just a little problem. It doesn't work completely well, but we are getting there. <laughs> okay, so let's do, what if we use match instead? No, it's the same problem, of course. Uh, so let's see, we need to improve this regular expressions. In hmm. So the problem with the thing is that how about that? Um, no. So here is the thing, when you use the dot asterisk, this means match everything, literally. If you go to that page that you show you, the rejects analyzer thing, you will see that this literally matches everything. So we need to delimit the end, the ending of the URL somehow. I was thinking this slash b will do it which means word, word boundary, so word delimiter, but I guess it's not working like I want. So let's think about it. Mm. Oh, let's do instead of dot, let's do w. And let's do so the pattern, it's always our figuring out how to describe the pattern. So the pattern is that we we can have this, we can have the additional slash. After the initial URL, we can have more things, right? So that's the problem right now that I'm, I'm trying to solve. So let's see. Um, No, so it's a slash, but we need to do that. And oh, we got something at least. We got the second part. And I want everything. So how about that? Hey, that works. So. Now I'm going to do this as well. Ah, no, why not? 
so I want to do something is called the Google non capturing group pretty sure that's the way to do that oh like that there we go so what I did here when you put a parenthesis around um, a part of the regular expression what you're telling the regular expression engine is to um, capture this part of the expression so that's called a capture group but when you add this bit of um, we could say meta information extra information modifier this called a non capture group so we're saying we want to group this but we don't really care about the what's in there we want the whole URL so now you can see that we got the URL 1 URL 2 from our original string which is this so that just could be other words other data okay and this the actual URLs so now we can URLs we could do something like URL um, delete no just swap URLs um, mm -mm -mm. we want to remove these URLs I think you can just uh, think like that uh, ah we can use this regular expression okay because this sub takes a regular expression and we can say empty and as you can see there, regular expressions are gone. The only problem is the extra spaces. And I think we can ignore that for now because one reason. The reason is that we are not doing anything with the spaces in our fancy method there. Okay. So note that we have found out our regular expression. What we want to do is take this and save it in our program. So we can do it like this. URL uh, pattern or regex for regular expression equals that. And that's the result of little exploration coding that we did on Pry. Okay. So now we can bring this back into our actual project and use this in our code. Okay. And the way to use this is like we did here. Oh, we have this. Remember, we have this method. I deleted filter date. No, it's filter words. And we can get the words. Words. And words. Gsub. And don't forget the closing parentheses. And if i reload our project you can see this disappear so this t was coming from this this co was coming you see co is 77 well it was coming from there but it's not a real word do you see how this can make our word frequency incorrect because taking this https https and it thinks these are real words, but they aren't, right? And we need to reload. Uh, I'm not sure what's what happens with that. That every time we make a change, it doesn't find 
the Twitter analyzer. That's strange, but okay. And now these are gone. No more T, no more HTTPS, no more Go, right? So this is a bit cleaner. Uh, top 10 words. So instead of filter words, I think I'm going to say be more specific filter, filter URL. Oh, this is a trick. If you're using Atom, super cool trick. You can choose, you can pick a word, double, double click on it to select the whole word, right? And then you can press on, on Linux at least. Uh, and Windows Control D, and we actually select automatically select of the copies of that word like this. You see that? I uh, the only thing I did is choose the word by double um, select the word by double clicking on it with my mouse. Mouse. Then I press Control D. I guess that's Alt D, um, Command D in MacOS in Macintosh in a Mac system, but in Linux Windows, this is Control D. It's really useful because you can do this. You can see sync, so we can change the same thing in both places. So that's a nice little trick for you. Hope you like that. Okay. Thanks. We then you create a Discord server or questions forums for Ruby guides. Well, that's a good question. And the answer is that, so I'm answering a question in the chat from Zipper. And he asked why don't create a questions forums. Well, the answer is that I have one, but it's for only for um, members of the Ruby Guides Pro com um, community members. So it's this rubyguides.com but it's only for subscribers of the Ruby Guides Pro program okay so that's that so right now what I want to do is to commit my changes. So it's a good habit to commit your changes. And Atom, if you have a new version of Atom, recent version of Atom, you can do a really cool thing. And that's commit right from your editor. So I'm going to hide my camera for a moment. So and drag your attention to the lower right, lower right of the editor you say you will see it says files zero files and it opens this panel so with this panel you can manage your repository it says create repository but that doesn't make a lot of sense because i'm in a repository you see we have this git so I'm not sure what's going on, but it should allow me to commit from there. Okay, and it also tells you which file to change. If you see there are gray on the right of my screen, there are gray files and there are these orange files. So the orange files is the files that changed since the last commit. Okay. So I wanted to commit, but since Atom doesn't want to recognize my repository right now, I'm going to do this the manual way. And that's going to the terminal. Going to the folder where I have my project. And then I will do git diff to see the changes. I was like to do that, git diff. Okay, if you are taking notes, that's a 
one thing I would recommend. And you can see in green what we change. If we delete something, we will see that in red. Okay, so green for added, red for deleted. So we see we added this instance variable. That's an instance variable because of the add symbol. We added this little bit of HTML ERB code for our view and do some spacing with the VR tags, which is not best practice, but since I'm leaving the more better looking front end for later, that we get the trick, we get the job done for now. Okay. So now what we need to do is git add and git commit dash m for message and the actual message. So in the message we want to describe what we have done in here and we, exactly what we have done is to display word count. And done. We are not. If we do get a status, we get um that's done. Basically, this is saying that app analyzer is not being tracked by this project, meaning it's not being saved by this. Git because App Analyzer has its own Git, okay? Because like its own mini project. So that's another thing. So let me look at chat if you have any questions. Okay. And if you're new here, I see we have new people now. Um, my name is Jesus Castillo. I'm from RubyGuides.com. I make Ruby tutorials for people that want to learn Ruby, write better code, prove their skills, and be really happy with their work and proud of their work, right? So if you like that kind of stuff, you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel and you want to go to my site, it's called rubyguides.com. And here you will find a lot of tutorials like the performance improvements in Ruby 2.5. That's, that's new. That's news. Ruby 2.5 is, is a new Ruby version and it's coming out in Christmas. Did you know that every Christmas or every year we get a new Ruby version? Well, the current version of Ruby is 2.4 and this Christmas we're getting 2.5. Okay. Then I also have some posts on some array methods. I have this really cool post on seven little Ruby methods to help you write better code. Okay. I have a lot more content. I also have this book, it's called Ruby Deep Dive. I think it can really help you understand Ruby better and write better code. Is that something you want? If you are watching this, I assume that's what you want. And let me review you the, a review of what we are doing. This video, I'm working in this project. This is a Twitter analyzer project. So you can enter any Twitter handle, quick um, press the analyze button. And of course, when I do the demo, we get an error. This always has to happen. <laughs> and reload. What we get is a stats about this account. So follower count, the top 10 tweets, and we get the top 10 most frequent words. Okay, so for which is very popular, fun, sharing, 
Ruby, of course, you do the in a uh, of. So that's stop words. We can delete this as well if we want. And we have this refresh button. Okay. So we can delete the stop words. There is a, a gem called stop words in Ruby. This stop words gem. So let's look at this. So you want stop words gem. And this is it. It has a list of stop words. And you can ask if it's a stop word or not. And you can ask if it's a word or not. Or a not a stop word. With this method, valid question mark. So if I try, we try that, let's play with that a little bit. Require stop words. Then we can see the list of stop words. Let's see account of stop words. This is 250. That's a good amount. And now let's take a look at the actual list. So that's the list that's in there. Whatever. <laughs> Moreover, everywhere. Okay. Yourself, wrote yourself, other, thought. Okay. Hold. I don't know if that's nothing. Some of those I don't really consider while. Well, Stop words, but okay. We can take that if you want, or we can create our own list. I wonder if you can reassign and you create your own list. Should be able to because this is used an array, it's nothing special. So if we want it, we can probably create a simple, more simple, more simple um, um, list of stop words. So that will be, I will do something like is to, um, what do we have? To definitely in. A four and D think that's what I go. Oh, oh well, it's a constant, so we really need um, it's a constant because it's, it starts with a capital letter and then we get this warning. But I think I will go with something like that for stop words. So maybe we then use the gem and we implement our own thing. Stop words. Something like that. Okay. If you have any Ruby questions, you can post them on the chat. I will read them in a moment. Okay. So we can do another of this, like hmm. I'm thinking if we want to combine the filter methods or keep them separate. Probably separate them. Filter stop words. Okay, and then we will do something like words just up. Um, I think this up actually takes like a like a thing like an array or something. Hmm.
or we can just use a let's see let me think for a moment or let's look at the documentation so where was this uh, um gsup mm -mm. takes a pattern replacement pattern hash hey where did you go uh, uh, uh. pattern hash pattern pattern so we always need a pattern no matter what so what's our pattern well it's the same as this on our replacement we be this to an empty mm, I think you can use a block and then say if it's that okay let's do this stop words include word Then um, mm -mm, word. So what I'm doing here is saying for each word, uh, make it empty if it's included in a stop word, and make it the word itself, meaning don't change it if it's not included in a stop word. So I think that we work. And ideally, we will be writing test for this, but just doing it manually. So let's do filters, stop words. Do let's let's do hello there. How are you today? Um, is the cat thing? good <laughs> but uh oh mm, what do you mean it's clearly initialized oh of course it's not initialized here okay the tag word um is This gone, yes, and R probably we want to remove R as well. This R the so let's add R. There, so that seems to get the work done. So now what we want, instead of calling filter URLs, filter words, words, and this probably needs to become a class because we, we can already see what's happening. Words, 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 when this happens, this starting to say, hey, make me a class. So that's a pro tip for you, okay? Filter URLs, filter stop chords. And now we can change this from this to that. We got two filters. So I like keeping them separate. So we can choose which filters we want and we can add more filters like that. It's like we are adding more layers of filtering to clean up our data. So now look at this list, it's all changed. So let's click. Oops, of course we get hit our little silly error. And reload. And there we go. Well, it seems like this error came back. 
the go and the, these things that's fine let's fi let's fix that so the problem is that we're using this gsub so changing it from not having the the exclamation mark to having it we're making it so it actually changes the original words and not just create creates a new words okay so it changes when we add the exclamation mark so let's refresh and reload this. Okay. And we should have cleaner. Oh, there is another stop word off. Off. That's pretty much very much a stop word. Off. Bam. And of course, that's getting a little annoying the having to reload all of the time. I need to figure that out. What's why is that a problem? Now we have more meaningful words. I wonder what's this A and P. Where's this A and P coming from? Oh on this <laughs> so that's another thing to filter filter um, special characters words words dot up um, let's do that empty and now we can add this to that and it's survey gone in a moment okay uh, what's wrong oh it's quartz so we have a typo it's not quartz it's quartz z, z not z s, s. What's what's so let's do the thing and let's reload and we still have a problem which is in the fine of course we still have word in here so words these little things can really build up okay and if you have any ruby questions let me know in the chat okay so that's the much cleaner much cleaner word analysis that we have now thanks sharing ruby you knew the method enjoy guide your like that okay So let's see what we have here. Okay, so I think that's it for today. You have any questions before I go? I will be happy to answer them. If not, choose a reminder that my name is Jesus Castillo and I write I make Ruby tutorials for Ruby developers like you. On my site is rubyguides.com where you can improve your Ruby skills. So do you have any Ruby questions you want to answer before I'm done here today? I'm going maybe to continue tomorrow around this same time. If you are interested in that. No questions? Something?
can just type in the chat for your question. Before I go take a break and probably continue tomorrow with the same project. Hello, hello, no questions. Well, then that's all for today. See you tomorrow around the same time. If you can bring some friends, that will be cool. Okay. And don't forget to visit and if you can help me share rubyguides.com with your friends that will help me. Okay. Because I want to maybe you don't you don't care, but I want to let you know anyway. <laughs> I want to build the number one Ruby site on the internet. Number one Ruby site on the internet. So I can help more people uh, learn Ruby. Okay. I also, of course, helped me become more popular, more authoritative. <laughs> okay. So, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching a lot. I appreciate your time.